Welcome to Great Chefs of the World, a culinary survey featuring premier chefs from around the globe. The first course this time comes from Italy. Ezio Santin presents a dish that could serve as a main course too. It's foie gras with white beans and arugula. Then a fish course is served in Mougins, France. Roger Verger offers medallions of monkfish with both red and yellow bell pepper sauce. Note he both steams and sautés the fish. The finale is served in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Ramiro Rodriguez offers a dish that translates well to a home kitchen. Sautéed bananas with two kinds of sauce. The veteran French chef, Roger Berger, oversees a number of enterprises in addition to his famed restaurant, Moulin de Mougin. He's written a half dozen cookbooks, created a line of products, including a commercial wine cellar, and operates a cooking school. His entree is monkfish medallions. Okay, now we're going to start with a fillet of monkfish with uh, two kinds of uh, sauces made with onions and sweet pepper. And uh, following with the uh, olive, black olive puree, and um, basil puree too. Hmm? Okay? That we have a different operation on this. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, we, can you slice the paper? Okay, I have two pan, two casserole, with about two olive oil, spoon, two uh, soup spoon mm, of olive oil. And here I have the half onions when I use half on this and half on that. Okay. Okay, we're going to cook the onions. Not colored, just keep it white like that. And Daniel prepare here the red pepper, that will be enough for one. one yeah, no, no, it's enough. Mm. Okay, some red pepper. They are approximately the same taste, but uh, I do that for the different colors. Mm. And we have the yellow and the red pepper. We have, I will show you now for the, the finishing, but we can prepare the monkfish, the fillet of monkfish. I use monkfish because it's a very uh, kind of firm fish, you know. Okay, we cook it, the, the onion, very soft. You know, the monkfish, we never use the heads because it's very awful, very ugly. And here I have the fillets I take off the, give me one knife, you yes. can cut. Okay, sure. Okay, I take off the skin, all the skin just to have the white part of the fillet. It's not so easy, but we have to make it very clear, very white. Take off the skin, and here we have the white part. And I cut one, can be one portion, for one person, and 
take off all the red here, the blood. Now you have a, the, the paper to pack it, yes. the cellophane. Salt. I salt it with some paper too. And some film. You know, I cook it like that first. It's going to be cooked on the two times, two different operations. I make it, you know, you can make it longer if you want to make it for two, for three, but just going like that. The fish goes into the steamer. With the hot water, I steam it for about 10 minutes. Hmm? If we don't cook it like that, you know, the fish is come, ça se réduit, ça se rétracte. Hmm? Okay, it's why we make, we cook it first on the paper. And like that, we will have a perfect size. Okay. Here, we are going to add the red. Here, the yellow paper. All are sweet paper. Hmm? Ça, c'est du sel, sucre, some salt. No, some sugar, sorry. Hmm. It's not with the sel. Not the same test. Hmm? Just a little bit of uh, sugar, salt, salt. You know, if you want to check with the sugar, you can test it. But if you put on the fire, burn, smell caramel. <laughs> Okay. We make it soft for about five minutes. I will, I'm going to add some cream, fresh cream, light cream, about half cup and half cup here. Same thing. And leave it to cook, you know, to make it like a puree. Okay. We can cover it. And leave it to cook. And after 10 minutes, we blend it, the two sauces. Uh, we blend and pass through the, the strainer. Hmm? Carefully add the, don't burn you. Take off the paper, you know, we use to keep it the good size and good looking. We have a mixing of uh, uh, flour and paprika, sweet paprika. Uh, we already salt and pepper. Put it on the paprika and flour, just like that. And we are going to cook it with uh, butter and olive oil. You can use some olive oil too. And now I color it the fish, the fillet of monkfish. You know, it's now really cooked. It's not completely cooked, but it's going to finish to cook on the on the butter, hmm? oil and butter. Hmm? Okay, you have the spoon. You have the two spoon. C'est pas la peine d'ajouter le beurre là-dessus, ils sont bons. Mm. Oui. You know, you can prepare in advance the sauce and keep it on the double boiler. Mm. And uh, even the, the sauce can be prepared in advance, you know, the day before or the, the, the same day, but a few hours before if you want it. Only the fish as you can wash it and reserve it like that and you will finish on the last minute. You know it's thin slice. You know it's perfect. Not to cook. You know we cook it into the the, the vacuum, you know? Yeah. 
Now we have the sauce here. It's so how we cook it and the sauce half of the plate with the red pepper and half of the plate with the yellow one. Okay. If you want, you can use only one sauce, but you don't have the, the same presentation. And put the, the monkfish just on the middle like that. I think to put, uh, you know, anyway, we can put the olive puree. Two purees, olive and basil, complete the dish. Okay, like that. And finish it with uh, the mal le poivre, some basil. Thank you.